I met Stanley at the bar drinking a beer, which he probably wouldn't have thought I would ever do, but I did. And um, I was asking too many questions about salmon fishing and he was so kind to offer to take me out on a trip to teach me how to catch a salmon. Well, he didn't promise to catch one, but he's gonna teach me all about it. So I'm pretty excited to learn about it and maybe, maybe, maybe we'll catch one. Who knows? And this is what we're gonna go out in. find these people who are just great souls and they just sit around the bar and you know and just chat and things just happen. Let's get away! Head out. The flasher that you told me about? That's right, yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, you have a little squid on it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you bet. So what are you checking? I'm uh, checking the tides. So this is a downrigger and we're going to put a lead ball on that. Like 15 pounds, I think I was told to catch the salmon that's on the bottom. And this is just me talking bullshit because it's actually Stanley who told me all of this like just an hour ago at the bar. So I've got one more drink and I'm gonna split it with you. Seriously, that's so sweet of you. <laughs> so only one more drink, so that should keep us uh, on safe. On, safe, exactly. <laughs> We don't have to, but it's just a lot easier like, to get away from the boats and, and uh, sometimes with the tide, your, your gear will get tangled up. You're nearly there. Almost there. 100, 130 feet. Looks like a squall <laughs> from where I come from. I've come out here and, and uh, put my gear out and then looked around. It's like I don't have my net. <laughs> Pulled my gear, gone back to get the net. Like, there's just no way around it. Downrigger. The downrigger. Wow, that is a massive piece of lead. You betcha. Gonna take our take our lure down. This is like a bent bungee cord. Like if you strike the bottom, th this will hopefully allow you to not snag up. Will hopefully bounce you off the bottom. So there's her there's her uh, 15 pound cannonball. Whoa! And this is what's gonna take our lure down down to the depths. Here comes the rod. Fishing rod. This, this is our flasher. Feet the boat. How much? 25 feet. 25 feet? Yeah, I'm gonna stop it right there. Put okay. my cannonball on here, and then this is a quick release clip right here. So I'm gonna clip it onto the line, and when I send the cannonball down, it's gonna pull this down with it. But if we're lucky, and, and a fish strikes, it's gonna pull it out of the clip like that. Okay, and goes way back up, yeah. Yeah. There. See how it's taking the, the whole line down? Yeah. Totally. So I'm gonna go down to 140 feet. So that's taking our flasher, our lure, 
everything down to 140 feet where we hope the salmon are. You caught something? No. <laughs> I just want to reel it up so there's tension on the line. So this tells you how far you're down. We're 130 feet down with that crazy lead ball. And then once we see this guy moving a little bit, we hope that we have a fish on the hook. And then I'll take it out. How about that? Okay. Good? That forces water into his gills. Oh, because he was out of the water for a bit? Yeah. Yeah. And you just kinda hold him and he'll he'll take off when he wants to. Sorry for catching you. There he goes. <sighs> See him swim off? I did. Every now and then it happens that uh, I meet some of my followers or they meet me, however you want to put that. So I was on the way to the shower this morning and <laughs> got this person walking past me and then he stops and he looks at me. He's like, I know you. I'm like, okay. And then it's always a moment of shock because I'm like, who's this person? Who's this person? Am I supposed to know him? And um, it was in the morning, so. Hi. Hey, it's White Spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay see this is what I was talking about um, two more people uh, anyway so he I, uh, he was saying like oh I know you and I'm like oh from the internet possibly and his eyes looked familiar and um, but I couldn't I wasn't sure where I couldn't place his face and um, <clears throat> then I went to the shower and then it hit me he's like yeah it's a smart guy I had been riding with him couple of times so he works with she Shepherd. he works for Sea Shepherd so I'm on my way I've got like half an hour before we have to head out but I just quickly want to grab them on camera to spread the mission they're up here I think to fight against salmon um, farming but now I don't know where I am H something H H there H 43 I think okay so here's a chicken. Okay, I think that's them over there. Yep, Martin Sheen. That's them. Hi, this is Mark from Sea Shepherd. And I'm very, very happy I ran into Nikkei this morning because I've been following her and her sailboat Carl for over two years. And it was like a huge surprise to run into her this morning in the marina. I was like, oh my God, what are you doing in this part of the world? <laughs> yeah, in the cold north, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a change from tropical weather, I guess. A little bit, but a nice change, yeah. yeah, yeah. So what are you doing up here? Well, so I'm here with uh, Sea Shepherd Conservation Society right now, and we're actually on our season four of investigating fish farms bringing awareness of the impact on the environment uh, created by fish farms and a program to defend wild salmon against fish farms. So we cruise around with scientists on board, we take samples, we do some science work to, uh, to try to demonstrate the, uh, the impact on the environment and uh, we actually do a lot of work along with First Nations group that are trying to save their waters, uh, save their salmon because their way of living is highly dependent on, on wild salmon, as the rest of the environment here, you know, the orcas, the whales, and everything else that is connected to it. So 
So there you go. So season four, stay tuned. <laughs> Follow us on the uh, RV uh, Martin Sheen uh, webpage on Facebook. There's going to be more videos out soon. Sweet. So it's aluminum hull. Oh, really? Features. Yeah. It oh. doesn't look like it, but yeah, it's all, uh, it's all aluminum. So I feel at home. <laughs> 1977, built by Palmer Johnson on the uh, US East Coast. And it was a, a private yacht at first. Yeah, about six years ago, uh, Sea Shepherd acquired this boat from another conservation society and uh, ever since been used for uh, touring around and uh, do some scientific work along with different scientific groups down in Mexico and, and up here as well. So the boat is cruising up and down the US West Coast in between projects. How long is she? Uh, it's 81 feet, 81 feet? 20, oh. 24 and a half meters, wow. but uh, surprisingly it's 81 feet overall, Yeah. but it's only 65 feet at the On water the water line, line. Yeah. yeah, it's a big difference. Fine, fine. Wow, you've got a nice pilot house. Yeah, it is amazing. Yeah. The catch with having such a nice pilot house is that uh, when it's pretty windy you don't feel it. And so you cold, have to be yeah. Really <laughs> It's, uh, that yeah, you sail so quite a bit or do you motor yeah, most do, of the time? Yeah, we do sail quite a bit, yeah. As much as possible to uh, save fuel and like we're sailors as well, so we like it. Ooh, look at all your fancy <laughs> equipment. I love it. Ooh. Yeah, our, our. So we have the galley. Sweet. Yeah, Got with a huge fridge. Yeah, a big, <laughs> very big fridge. Yeah, sometimes nice. we're like 10, 12 on board. So yeah, you, you need, need quite the, a bit. You need the serious stuff. Oh, yeah. I love this. Look at this Washer nice storage dryer, area. Yeah. One nice little bathroom with separate shower, which is luxury in itself on a sailboat. Mm -hmm. One cabin with two bunks. Little bunks. This one's called the shack. <laughs> this used to be the, the library. And I think at some point over the life of the boat, they decided to change the couch for two bunks so it's more convenient guest cabin with two bunks three oh, if needed cute. it's like so much little nice detail like it's so cute yeah all the original stuff it's really yeah. nice brass and it's stuff really there. pretty yeah there you go <laughs> the master of disaster this is your place <laughs> no no my bunk is the. <laughs> Thanks Mark for the little boat tour of the Martin Sheen, that was super interesting. And it's always nice to finally meet people that I've been riding with during the last years and then finally have a real face to the conversation. But it's time for John and I to untie the lines of persistence and head further north to Octopus Island. But more about that next week. <laughs>